Okay, so with Oklahoma winning on Saturday, but unfortunately, Texas, Oklahoma State, Kansas State also winning. The question is, can Oklahoma still make the Big 12 championship game? What is needed for Oklahoma to make it? Luckily, we're here to talk about it. We're going to dive into what, who needs to win, who needs to lose, what those scenarios look like. So what I need y'all to do is I need y'all to grab a drink. I need y'all to sit back in your chair, grab your popcorn, and watch the show. Because we're going to talk about each scenario for Oklahoma to make it to the Big 12 Championship. And I'm going to give you guys my take on the most likely scenario to happen. But if you haven't already, make sure you do me one favor. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, jump down in the comments below, and give me y'all's thoughts. Because, whew, this is going to be a rough one, guys. It's going to be a rough couple weeks. All right. So Oklahoma, getting into the Big 12 Championship. How do they do it? Well, let's look at the first one here. And I'm going to uh, share in the wrong screen here. So, current records. Texas 7-1, and one, Kansas State 6-2, and two, Oklahoma State 6-2, and two, Oklahoma 6-2. and two. So, you have a four, or you have a three-way tiebreaker for number two. Four people vying for a conference championship spot. So, first scenario I got here. Oklahoma beats TCU. Texas beats Texas Tech. You would need Kansas State to lose to Iowa State if BYU to beat OSU for Oklahoma to get in. That put Texas, Oklahoma, Iowa State, OSU. That's how you get one in. Second scenario. Let's take a look at this one. You got Oklahoma beating TCU. You have Kansas State losing to Iowa State and Oklahoma State beating BYU. Does not get Oklahoma in. You still have Oklahoma State playing Texas. So if we go back and we leave Oklahoma State as the winner, Kansas State is or move Oklahoma State as loser, loser, Kansas State as the winner. Oklahoma still winning their game, Texas still winning their game. Oklahoma gets in. Texas is in because Oklahoma is above Kansas State based on the winning percentage against the number 1 team, which is Texas. 1 and 0, Kansas State lost that game. All right. Next scenario I got for you. Oklahoma State wins, Kansas State wins, Texas beats Texas, or Texas loses to Texas Tech. All right, this is the next scenario. Texas gets in with the Kansas State above OSU and Oklahoma based on winning percentage. So Texas still gets in, and they're playing Oklahoma State. Oklahoma now would be the number four team in the conference at 7-2, and two, below Kansas State. Because with Texas above OSU and Oklahoma based on winning percentage, the number seven teams played one time, 2-0. and Both Texas based on head-to-head -head record 0-1 with Oklahoma below OSU on round-robin due to round-robin sweep. So Oklahoma gets the short benefit right there, right? So in order for Oklahoma to make the Big 12 championship with a Texas loss, you need Oklahoma State to lose to BYU. Or no, I'm sorry. I got that wrong. You need, I believe it's K-State. Yes. You need K-State to beat Iowa State. Oklahoma State is got to lose their, or no. <laughs> Let's get this right one more time. because This is confusing. Oklahoma State's got to lose to BYU. Kansas State has to beat Iowa State. And that gets Oklahoma in the Big 12 championship playing Texas because of their overall record. But if you want Texas to lose and Oklahoma State to lose, then you're looking at a scenario where Texas and Kansas State both play each other. Again, really confusing. Don't ask me how this is the way it is, but it is. So... Next week, what you're rooting for, I think in the best case scenario, Oklahoma wins, Texas wins, Kansas State wins, Oklahoma State loses to BYU. That puts Oklahoma right in there. Otherwise, your other scenario would have to be Kansas State and Oklahoma State losing with a Texas win, and then Texas and Oklahoma would play each other. 
Unfortunately, Oklahoma can get the, the one seed in the Big 12 championship game. If Texas loses, Oklahoma State loses and Iowa State loses. Or Oklahoma State loses and Kansas State lose. Not a lot of paths here. Your best path, like I said, is for Oklahoma to win out, Texas to win out, Kansas State to win out, and BYU to beat Oklahoma State. This is going to be a Saturday where everybody is going to pay attention. They're going to pay attention to what's going on. Because the Big 12 is going to be decided by one game. That's how this is going to end up coming down. One game. So, guys, I want to hear what y'all's thoughts are. I want to hear what you guys think about Oklahoma potentially making the Big 12 championship. I know this was a little sporadic and a little weird, but listen, Oklahoma State, they got Ollie Gordon back. They looked pretty good on Saturday against Houston. And if a BYU is not able to stop the run game, which didn't seem like they could against Oklahoma, uh, they are in for a long day against Oklahoma State, and Oklahoma's chances of getting into the Big 12 championship might not be there. If you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that like and hit that subscribe button. Join the discussion by jumping down in the comments below.